everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the Nikki Institute's YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to get an accurate sizing box around our design and pieces. And this kind of sparks from last week where we talked about um, adjusting the size of our pieces and tricks for doing that. And people said, well, okay, sometimes you do get a sizing box that is way off. And how can you get it to be a little bit more accurate? For the most part, the designs that you pick up from the Silhouette Store or other online resources are pretty accurate. Um, this really comes into to play when we start to talk about text. So if you see here, I have this love, and if I click on it, you can see I have, according to the sizing box, I have it set to be three inches high. And we're gonna take a look at this, and I'm gonna show you that it's really not anywhere close to three inches high. So I'm gonna go up to View and Show Grid, and I have my grid line set to be one inch apart. And you can see that I can adjust this. I'm going to just pick a grid line right here. And you can see that if I count the grids, the lines on my grid, I have one, two, and maybe, if I'm lucky, a quarter. That's how high that L is. It certainly is not three inches high. So here's how you can get a more accurate sizing box. I'm going to hide my grid lines for now, just for a minute, so that everyone can see this happen a little bit better. The one thing that you have to remember is when you do this, your text is no longer going to be read by your software as text. So you should put all your text in the box right now, type it all into your software, get it exactly how you want it in the right um, font and everything before you do this. Because I'll show you that once you do this, you can't go back. So you want to have your text selected and you want to click object and convert to path. And so now if I click on the text, you can see it's 2.206, which, wow, I really wasn't that far off when I said it was two and a quarter. So that's much more accurate. However, you cannot double click on it to adjust your text. What you have is what you're going to keep. So like I said, this is a great trick because now your sizing box is much more accurate and you'll get a better um, idea of how big the pieces are you are cutting, but you can't change your text. So once you have your text exactly how you want it, then you do the trick of clicking object and convert to path, but not before. I hope that helps. Hi everyone, and thanks so much for watching. I hope the video helped. If you need more help with your silhouette, cameo, or portrait, please stop by NikkiInstitutesCraftAcademy.com. There is a link to the site in the information below. There you'll find not only another free getting started video, but also information on my Crafting with Your Silhouette program, where we go over every feature inside your silhouette software. I hope to see you there soon. Bye.